Setting start, due, and end dates on discussion topics, drop boxes, and quizzes can be a bit tricky because the behavior of these dates works differently within each tool. Plus, setting up dates for discussion topics can be real confusing. Please read the information carefully and watch these video tutorials to help you get the best understanding of how to set the dates based on specific situations. This particular tutorial is going to talk about discussion topics. So here's the bottom line. You don't want to restrict uh, when the students can post, then don't set any dates on the discussions at all. If you want to restrict uh, to, a date, to a date range when students can post and do not want the students to view their posts or other students' posts after the discussion topics closes, set start and end dates via the content discussion area, content, course content area. So I'm in the course content area here. And what I would do, again, in this particular case, is go to the dates and set a start date and an end date if, again, if I do not want the students to see the posts after the date range. Now, because what the start and end date will do is hide the discussion topic, not only here, but also in the submission review area discussions. Now, if you want to restrict to a date range when students can post and do, you do want the students to view their posts or other students' posts after the discussion closes, then you do not set start and end dates in the course content area for the discussion. In this case, we're going to go to submission review and discussions. We're going to go and edit the discussion topic. And in this particular case, we're going to set locking options. We're going to choose to unlock and have a start and end date on those locking options, and I would want to display it in the calendar. What the locking options will do is it will keep the students from posting until a specific date has been, has been reached, a start date, and when that end date is, is passed, the students will no longer be able to post to the discussion, but they will be able to go back and review their discussion posts and other students' discussion posts. Of course, if you just want to set the end date, you can do that also. You don't have to set both. So that's the important piece and understanding of discussions. Again, with discussions, you don't want to set any restrictions. Leave the dates alone. You want to restrict to a date range when the students can uh, post, but you don't want them to view their posts after. Set the dates in the, submit, in the content course content area. If you want to restrict to a date range, but you want the students to view their posts before and after that date range has been reached, use the submission review and discussion area and use the locking options.